Hi everyone, I am here with your Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. Let's go over the list of names for our prayer requests first. Please keep the following people in prayer. Layla, Lonnie Doles Jr., Michelle Watkins, Linda Thacker, April Thacker, Zach Kirby, Jimmy Myers, Melody Ramey, Sherman Crabtree, Rhonda Karshner and Abby Myers, Cindy and Jim Welsh, Dora Carper, Elizabeth Jeffries, Judy Thompson, Judy Osborne, and Barb Post. So today, guys, we are going to be reading Hebrews chapter 7, verses 1 through 17, Psalm 105, verses 37 through 45, and Proverbs chapter 27, verse 3. All right. So let's get started here with Hebrews. This Melchizedek was king of Salem, and priest of God Most High. He met Abraham returning from the defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham gave him a tenth of everything. First the name Melchizedek means king of righteousness. Then also king of Salem means king of peace. Without father or mother, without genealogy, without beginning of days or end of life, resembling the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. Just think how great he was. Even the patriarch Abraham gave him a tenth of the plunder. Now the law requires the descendants of Levi, who became priests, to collect a tenth from the people, that is, from their fellow Israelites, even though they also are descended from Abraham. This man, however, did not trace his descendants from Levi, yet he collected a tenth from Abraham and blessed him who had the promises. And without doubt, the lesser is blessed by the greater. In the one case, the tenth is collected by people who die. But in the other case, by him who is declared to be living, one might even say that Levi, who collects the tenth, paid the tenth through Abraham, because then Melchizedek met Abraham. Levi was still in the body of his ancestors. If perfection could have been attained through the Levitical priesthood, and indeed the law given to the people, established that priesthood, why was there still need for another priest to come, one in the order of Melchizedek, not in the order of Aaron? For when the priesthood is changed, the law must be changed also. He of whom these things are said belong to a different tribe, and no one from that tribe has ever served at the altar. For it is clear that our Lord descended from Judah, and in regard to that tribe, Moses said nothing about priests. And what we have said is even more clear if another priest like Melchizedek appears, one who has become a priest not on the basis of a regulation as to his ancestry, but on the basis of the power of an indestructible life. For it is declared, you are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Okay, guys, and that's where we're going to stop with Hebrews. And now we're going to continue on with Psalm 105 from yesterday with verses 37 through 45. He brought out Israel laden with silver and gold, and from among their tribes no one faltered. Egypt was glad when they left, because dread of Israel had fallen on them. He spread out a cloud as a covering and a fire to give light at night. They asked, and he brought them quail. He fed them well with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and water gushed out. It flowed like a river in the desert. For he remembered his holy promise, given to his servant Abraham. He brought out his people with rejoicing, his chosen ones with shouts of joy. He gave them the lands of the nations, and they fell heir to what others had toiled for, that they might keep his precepts and observe his laws. Praise the Lord. 
All right, guys. Of course, that again was talking about where um, God used plagues to rescue the Israelites, the Hebrews, from Egypt when they were slaves there. I was referring to them being in the desert. Okay, and our last Bible book today is Proverbs chapter 27, verse 3. Stone is heavy and sand a burden, but a fool's provocation is heavier than both. Alright guys, so that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your hearts. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.